Hi everyone, I'm Noam Tzvi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be making a guitar out of this jar. Let's get started. I designed all the parts of this project for 3D printing, except for the strings, of course. The build volume of my 3D printer isn't very large, so I had to split my design into several sections. But that gave me an accidental bonus point. I get to fit all the parts in the jar if I ever want to store it or go traveling or anything like that. So I decided I won't be using any glue for this project. All the parts will be held together by the weight of the strings. The jar itself has no threading like most jars do, so I had to split the soundboard part in half in order to fasten it on. These two fasteners on the top and on the bottom keep it together. So the neck of the guitar won't bend from the pressure of the strings, I added a steel rod straight through the neck. It makes it pretty strong, but then the parts start to swivel on themselves. So I added these rectangular parts between the sections. In this way, I put all the parts together. To hold in the saddle and the nut, I added a groove for each one. I made this interesting look for the headstock, I wanted to look a little bit less standard. These two here are very simple, they're just held in by friction. So far they're working pretty well. For the strings, I added this piece in the back to hold them in. I just tie them in place and on the other end I added little holes in the tuners so they hold on to the string. Then you just need to start tuning it. And that's it, it's ready. I present to you the guitar. <laughs> Let's play it. How do I think it sounds? It's the best sounding jar I ever made. Here are some things I would like to improve if I ever make another one. First, I would find the jar that actually has a threading, so it'll be easier to attach the parts to it. And also, I could actually take the neck off with the string still attached, and maybe put on something else. I have an idea to make the neck stronger without the need of a steel rod. For the tuners, I would design gears, so it'll be a lot easier to tune, and also I'll stay in tune for longer. The frets I would make removable, just in case I wear them down too much and to replace them. I also need to lower the height of the strings. I had a little miscalculation here. If you think there's anything else I could improve, just leave a comment and let me know. That was a fun project. I'll be making more soon, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Anyways, that's it for now. That was a lot of fun. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later in my next video.